Willie, why are the workers at the co-op funeral care on strike? Well, our members have been forced to take strike tax because in the worst cost of living crisis in the last 40 years, whereby they're seeing more cost of food, for fuel, for heating, and also as we see more age and housing costs rise, they've been offered a significantly more Members have said that at this time, quite frankly, that's not good enough and failure for the co op to come to the table with a sensible offer has led to the first strike action for many of our members in their entire time of working for the organisation. And what was the union claim? What was the pay claim? Well, I, when we are talking to employers about wages, we're obviously looking to maintain their members' standard of living. So the talks have been going on since April and currently we have an offer for the employer less than 5%. And that's at a time when we have to be able to get over 10%. So quite frankly, it's not been a good offer. And uh, are there conditions attached to the offers as well? Some of the pickets have said. some conditions that are unacceptable and sadly that's why we've reached the situation that we're in today with our members forced to take industrial action. Now is the company in poverty? Has it got any case for not paying up to inflation? Well, certainly we understand looking at the last published results for funeral care, funeral care remains a profitable part of the co-op business and also we have the cooperative that likes to think of itself as a business that does things differently. Well sadly that's not been the experience of our members who have seen practices that I would equate with bad policies coming from managers and that is the speed. Well if what would your appeal to the or message be to the wider trade union movement? Well, what we're seeing in the now the way to change it is more and more action being taken by workers. And a thought comes to my mind is that a lot of these workers, these were the essential workers during the pandemic. Many of these workers were the ones who put themselves at risk for many of us from their home. And when we see another economic crisis coming, they have been asked again to pay the price. And what we're seeing is, is our eyes within that group saying that this is not acceptable and more and more preparing to, prepare to take strike action in order to win and prove changes from their employers. OK, well, as you probably know, you've got the support of the Scottish Socialist Party and our trade unionists, so keep fighting. Thank you. Cheers. Okay,